Hey everybody, how's it going? This is PB Solidus2 here, checking in with you guys for this gun lance tutorial. Alright, let's get right into it. So as you see here, um, I have the gun lance. If you guys follow the stream at uh, twitch.tv PB Recreations or uh, twitch.tv sol1dus2, you know that um, I'm a avid, avid gun lance user. I love the weapon system. I think it's cheap, I think it's broken, but hey, that's just me. Um, this tutorial will just go over just the basics of the gun lancing and going over the weapon system, its shots, its uh, attacks, the movement, um, the pros and cons, and um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So as you see, here's the gun lance. I'm going to go into what makes it a gun. If you look at the top left corner next to my sharpness, you'll see that there's two shells. I've already loaded them, but let me waste those two for the viewers. All right, so reloading. Um, this is uh, you, you are a gun lance user, so you want to have bullets in your gun lance. Um, first we will reload. There's three different ways to reload. I'll go over the first basic one, which is to hold the R shoulder and to hit A. That's one way to reload. Our second way to reload is any kind of sidestep, backstep, or any evasive move um, by hitting B and then going into A. So right now I'll do a back step to A and you'll see I'll reload there. Yep, so to do that you hit B. Um, once the back step animation is there, you hit A. Our last way to reload uh, would be our quick reloads. So after a shot, you are allotted time um, with the A button to reload that shell back in. So you see I'm missing one shell right now. I'm going to spin my last shell but I'm gonna bring one right back by tapping A and then following up with A again and there's the quick reload right there and that brings back whatever shell you just expended alright so as you can see using A uses your gun part of the gun lance using X uses the stabbing part of the lance all lance moves can be canceled by the shot but I'll go into the actual lancing part a little bit later I wanna go over all the gun parts first now there's two different types of shots with the gun lance. There is the basic blast, and then there's the focus blast. So if I was to hit R and A um, during a combo, I would put out a more precise, uh, stronger shell. So I'll stab, hold R, and then hit A. You see it's a charge shot and it's a more focused blast. That is a more devastating shot, but it, as you can see it costs time to use it since it's a charge shot. Um, there's different ways to release the shells, um, there's the forward thrust shell, there is your basic stab shell, and then there's your vertical slash shell. Now as I said, all of these can be um, turned into the more focused shot, so I will do the forward thrust sh uh, shot by holding R and then hitting A. You'll see I'll do the forward thrust with the gun lance and then I'll go into here. Now the vertical. Oh, we have to reload. Here we go. Our vertical. And that gives me a vertical shot straight up. That is the best, bar none, best move to use against a flying monster that's right above you and safe. It will it will do a, tons of damage, free damage to it. And you have a chance of knocking it down in, in its, uh, you know, unstable animation where it's on its side or on its back, so on and so forth. It's really great for any monster above you. Uh, let's see what else did I miss. Yes, so the forward slash focus shot. All right. Now, there's two more variants of this shot. There is where you expend all your ammo, and then there's like your wyvern blast. I'll go over the expend all your ammo shot right now. So we'll say we'll do our combo, our X, X, smash combo. Following that smash, you hit A. And as you can see in the top left, that uses all the ammo and the gun lance. This, this attack is great for uh, monsters that aren't looking at you, that are staggered, that are dazed, knocked out, so on and so forth. Where you have enough time to use it, I would definitely say put that combo into effect. Now, what makes the gun lance really powerful and my favorite attack to do um, is your wyvern blast. Similar to, the, gun similar to the, the heavy gunners, you have a blast that shoots, it's, it's a devastating shot, I'll just show you. Now this can be used either by doing that same combo I showed earlier, where you have a smash attack, you can hit X and A, or just standing, holding your right shoulder, you can hit X plus A, and this will give you this blast right here. 
that is the gun last most devastating attack as you can see my weapons on cooldown um it's it's really hot right now meaning that it's a uh, waiting for cooldown you'll see like every gun lance has a different way to show cooldown this one shows it this way i know you always they all show smoke that's the best way to do it but you also see that it opens up to release it like vents and when the vents close that means it's good to go all right so going into our combo system with our gun lance um i will show you just a couple of basic safe combos that you guys can do out there to show you uh you know to get most damage output in I mean, the safest combo that uh, most gun lancers have, and I see use a lot, is the shield to poke. I mean, this is the fastest way to get the damage into a monster, but it also is the weakest. I don't know the exact damage-wise, but I know sitting there um, just poking will give you the least amount of damage, but it will be the safest. Now, um, a move that I tend to use a lot to close distance is your forward thrust. This move is great for a monster that's not looking at you or, like I said, you need to close distance. So if he's all the way over there, I want to get there, I hold forward and hit X. That will give me a thrust there and I will close the distance and hit it, uh, hit the monster. And that can go straight into a combo by hitting XX. So um, combo-wise, we have our X, X, and then he'll go into the smash. We also have X by itself. We have... X, X, slash up. As you saw there, my gun lance did close, meaning that the cooldown is over. Now, the cooldown time varies depending on your, your, your skills and the weapon itself. Um, this current equipment set I have on is made for the gun lance, and I'll go into that in the next tutorial how to set up for gun lancing, stats and stuff to look for. But as of right now, this is just the basics. So, some more combos you have with your gun lance. There's the X plus A attack, which I mentioned is the vertical slash. This can be used after any attack, that um, after any X attack. So I'll do one X, vertical slash. I'll, I can do two X, vertical slash. And after vertical slash, we'll go into the, um, the smash with the gun lance. So, if you don't want to do the vertical slash to smash, I always uh, suggest that you shoot. So I'll do X, X, vertical slash, shot. Oh, I did smash my accent, sorry. X, X, vertical slash, shoot, poke, poke, and I should get three pokes in. Now, you only get three pokes in after the vertical slash shot. So keep that in mind. You don't get any more. It goes into a reset. So I always um, say do your shot. Now, the advantage of doing the shot to just doing the poke. So if I was to do vertical slash, shot, so poke, poke hope there's a huge downtime and you have you it's it's really beneficial that if you do not have a shot left to hold block because your recovery off of that is horrendous all right um let's see did i miss anything for you people i don't really think so i, re I covered reloading we went over the combos and we went over the different shots like I said, um, all these moves are, all your attack moves are cancelable by your shot. So definitely put that into your into your uh, combos, because the shooting is what makes the gun lance that much more effective as a frontline weapon. And um, thank you all for watching this basic tutorial of the gun lance. Definitely tune in for video two, which would be the more advanced uh, combo systems, the more advanced against monsters uh, techniques things to look out for as a gun lancer and your skills and your armors. Alright everybody, have a great day.